Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Here again, um, I've been meaning to test this out for a while. This is the new Derringer Kukri by Koten Kukri Handicraft. This is the oil quenched version. So as I said in my initial video, it is a beast, but it's relatively thin. So we're gonna see how it holds up against soft and hardwoods, and we'll test the carter a little bit as well. So uh, starting with softwoods, we'll see how it goes. See how the edge holds up, see if the blade holds up. All right, so, fighting quite deep. Which you would expect for such a beastly blade on softwoods. There you go. So it's gotten through that no problem. Let's go through something a little thicker and then we'll have a crack on something a bit hard. Go. So, clean cuts, quite a big piece, but it's definitely sort of slicing through the wood rather than shearing it like you see a lot of the larger kukri do. So, I'll show you the edge, and then we'll move on to some hard stuff. So there's the edge there. Still perfect. Alright, we'll move on to some hard stuff. Alright, now I reckon because we've got a, a rather large hard dead piece of wood here, we'll try on this and we'll see how the edge holds up chopping on this one. I want to save a bit of this stump for uh, Seeker, which I'll be filming straight after this. And you can see all I'm doing is flicking the wrist. I'm not putting full power strikes because it's too close to my hand, see? Turn it around for this part. Pretty thick stick this one. Might have to start hitting it a bit harder now they're in the hard part of the wood. That part's broken off. So far the edge is holding up just fine. Not having any issues. Oh. traded out quickly and paused it so I could put some gloves on because I always forget to put these on. Alright, let's continue. We love you. I love you too.
thì dễ And the edge is still fine. Let's do a split. Or at least see if we can. Don't know if we'll be able to just chop it, but. Let's see. Because I don't think this is going to hold it anywhere. I might just do. See if I can do it like this. That in there a little bit. There we go. All right, let's give this a try. That was only a light chop. We'll try again. It's a bit awkward because I don't have a stump to chop on anymore. There we go. So it splits well too. Cool. Be back with the carter for some carving shortly. All right. <clears throat> Here we are for Carter. We'll do some carving on this stick here. I've used this to carve on before, so we'll do that again. Okay. Oh, would you like to talk, please? This wood's dried out a little bit as well, so now it's actually more <coughs> conducive to carving. I can take pretty big chunks off with it. So let's just see if we can do some, some feathers without it all skipping off. It's difficult. That's just because of my lack of skill more than anything, but let's see. There we go. Just here. Some fine curls, but they keep wanting to fall off. There we go. I'm Daddy. Just a sec, mate. There you go. Carves well. That's what I was saying before about straight edges being more consistent and better for that kind of thing. So the, the only just a sec, mate. The only thing with the carter is it's got this jut, this corner that juts out here instead of more of a, a curved choil sort of shape. But uh, I'll talk to Bruin about that and see if we can get that fixed. Um, I'm just going to pause it so I can talk to my kid a little bit because he's want to have a chat, so. Alright, so just sit there quietly, please. You can watch. I may interrupt my video, okay? So the only thing I'll say now about the, the scabbard is obviously, like I said in the initial review, retention ain't that great unless you push it forward. So luckily, Barun sort of made it so that if I push the handle forward, it doesn't doesn't come flying out of the scabbard. If you leave it back like that though, it obviously comes out. So that's pretty cool but that, that he's designed it to be able to do that. But um, overall, I'm actually pretty impressed with uh, how this has held up, considering how thin it was and I thought it might snap or break or something, but it's, it's perfectly fine. It's like a, it's like a, a, a broad machete. So fantastic for martial purposes, really good brush cutter. On the hardwoods and stuff, it doesn't really chunk the wood out the way that you would want. Uh, but, I mean, that's fine. It's still got through the, the, the thick hard stuff without breaking and that, that's impressed me considering it's a water quench. So um, that'll do it for today and I'll be back shortly with uh, Seeker, which I'm quite excited to to review so thanks for your time it was just a nice quick and dirty one on the replacement derringer by koten kukri handicraft if you want one of these in uh, water or oil quench 
just hit us up in the comments or um, PM either myself or Barun. Right. Thank you very much.